Evelyn Glennie, who joins us remotely. Well, thank you for the opportunity to participate in time for reflection. And certainly reflection is, I hope, an activity that we're all encouraged to participate as part of our daily medicine. Now, I wonder what you feel the universal language of the world is. And in my mind, it is listening. Listening belongs to us all. And although hearing gets old, listening does not. And as I go through my life, I've come to realize that it's the participation of listening that's at the heart of every decision, action, and experience encountered. Listening in a way is the super glue of life and listening is the bridge builder and connector. And hearing has a beginning and an end, but listening is continuous. Now, hearing can bring about the illusion of isolation and silence because we measure the experience by what we hear or what we cannot hear. But listening, on the other hand, cannot be measured. It's a sort of mysterious sixth sense that connects all of our other senses together. And no one learns how to listen. We're all born with an innate sense of listening. However, unfortunately, we're inadvertently taught more on how not to listen whilst thinking we're cultivating better listening skills. Now, we know that nothing in the world really happens in isolation. And my career as the first ever full-time solo percussionist in the world did not happen in isolation. And the most solo part of my journey has been listening to myself and recognizing how listening ignites plasticity and purity. So true listening really has no motives. And through my foundation's mission to teach the world to listen, it's my aim to allow us all to be unselfish listeners so that we can assist and support each other to interpret self to self. And this applies to all forms of communication, virtual or face to face. And we all have an opportunity to make what we express through whichever platforms part of our tapestry, our story and our journey. So listening to ourselves and each other allows a platform of curiosity to exist. And that leads to inquiring about things and questioning things about yourself and your surroundings and what's right in front of you. And listening helps us to learn and progress and open ourselves up to opportunities. It also helps bring different minds together and really cements the power in partnerships. So listening to our own spoken thoughts is a precious and necessary activity. And when listening is silenced, anything can happen. So listening demonstrates compassion towards yourself and to others, and it helps dissolve stigmas. And from this, clarity can emerge, thus igniting conviction, choice, and decision. And this will leave room in the tank to build constructive listening bridges with all who we encounter. Thank you again for allowing me to speak with you as part of Time for Reflection.